Hello, Pisces. This is you versus them for the week of 17th to 23rd. Them being the person that you're thinking about or the person that's thinking about you. It could even be somebody that you are oblivious to that is in your energy field, okay? Keep in mind, too, that these energies can go vice versa. They can even over overlap. Um, if this reading resonates for you, which I hope that it does, please hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel. If it does not resonate for you, then guys, just keep in mind that it is a general reading and thousands of people watch the videos, okay? <clears throat> I would advise you though to check your, um, your moon and rising signs as well, okay? So here we go, Pisces friends. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, please visit the website. If you have an issue there with selecting a reading, please email me, okay? Here we go, Pisces. You? Oh my gosh. Six of Cups, the Sun, Six of Swords, and the Four of Swords. Hmm. Then we have Two of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, and the Knight of Cups. So for you, I see that there is somebody that you share a past with that makes you truly happy. You see complete happiness with this person. They are the sun for you. When you think about them, you get butterflies, I feel like. I feel like when you're around this person, you feel like a kid because you're so happy. Let's see if I can move this over and down a little bit. They make you so happy. I feel like before, you know, you almost feel like the sun is on your back. You know how, you know, if it's cold outside, um, when the sun is shining on your back, it just feels like so good, so good. And I feel like this is how you feel about this person. You've been through something here in the Six of Swords, moving out of that. You're going into a calmer area a calmer area in your life here. Learning to just relax and go with the flow. Take things as they come. Okay? Because the six and the four of swords is laying down a burden. That's the ten of swords. This person makes you forget, I feel like, those things that really, really bother you. They seem really minuscule at the end of the day when you're with this person. This is the way that I feel that you are feeling. They give you this sense of like you can relax around them. You can be yourself around them. Okay? Now this other person is learning to balance, I feel like, their emotions with their pinnacles like their love life with their pinnacles i feel like falling in between the six of cups and the ten of pinnacles they're needing to just find a, a good balance between getting a relationship and being able to keep their coins up okay i don't feel like they're juggling anybody i feel like they're just having to need um, they're having the need to um, just like find a way to function in, in both areas of their life here because you guys together, this, this is you. This is you. This is a stable, solid relationship. One that is going to bring both of you a lot of happiness, a lot of joy. Enjoy spending time together. Enjoy talking to each other. Going places together. And both of you, no matter what, is willing and ready to do whatever it is that you need to do to make this thing work here. I just feel that way. I just feel that way. I feel like this person is going to bring you out of your shell here because they have all the love that you need in your life. I don't feel like you want anybody else. I feel like this person is going to bring you out 
um, you may not be that expressive emotionally. But this person is going to bring out the best in you. They're going to help you. They're going to compliment you. And not just compliment you by stating that, stating that you're handsome or you're pretty, but compliment you. You guys may not be like the same, but whatever you don't do, they kind of make up for it and vice versa. I feel like you guys really compliment each other here. Um, this is beautiful. I love it. All right, Pisces. So that is what I have for you. Okay. Talk to you soon.